Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we've got something really exciting to discuss the highly anticipated game Star Wars Outlaws. This game is already shaping up to be one of the most thrilling releases of the year, and there's a buzz going around about a potential special cameo that could take it to the next level. So let's dive in and explore who might make a surprise appearance and why it matters so much for the game's success. First off, Star Wars Outlaws is set in the timeline between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. This era is rich with iconic characters and significant events, providing a perfect backdrop for some incredible storytelling and gameplay experiences. Ubisoft and Massive Entertainment are the minds behind this open-world adventure, and they've promised a game that's deeply immersive and true to the Star Wars universe. Now, we already know that Jabba the Hutt is confirmed to make an appearance that's huge, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. With a universe as expansive as Star Wars, the possibilities for cameos are almost endless. However, there's one cameo that has fans particularly excited the Cantina Band from A New Hope. Yep, you heard that right. Figrin Dan and the modal nodes could be playing their iconic tunes at Chalman's Cantina on Tatooine, a confirmed location in the game. Why is this so significant, you ask? Well, the Cantina Band is one of the most universally recognized elements of the Star Wars franchise. Even people who aren't hardcore fans can recognize the Cantina Band song. Including this band in Star Wars Outlaws would not only serve as fantastic fan service, but also enhance the immersion of the game. Imagine walking into Chalmon's Cantina and hearing that familiar tune. It would be a perfect nod to the original films and a treat for fans. But Ubisoft shouldn't stop there. What if players could interact with the band? Think about modern games like Final Fantasy XVI or Path of Exile that allow players to change the background music. Star Wars Outlaws could implement a similar feature where you could pay the band to play different tracks. This would be an amazing way to spend those hard-earned credits and personalize your experience in the game's various cantinas. Aside from the Cantina Band, there's also potential for other lesser-known but beloved characters to make appearances. Since the game is set during the Imperial Era, characters like Boba Fett, Lando Calrissian, or even younger versions of Han Solo and Chewbacca could show up. These characters would fit perfectly into the timeline and add layers of depth to the narrative. Another intriguing possibility is the inclusion of characters from the animated series like Star Wars, The Clone Wars, or Star Wars Rebels. Characters such as Ahsoka Tano or Captain Rex could bring in storylines and fan favorites that haven't been explored as much in mainstream Star Wars games. The speculation around these potential cameos is a huge part of the excitement building up for Star Wars Outlaws. It's not just about playing a game, it's about stepping into a world that feels alive and connected to the larger Star Wars saga. These cameos, whether major or minor, help bridge the gap between different parts of the Star Wars universe and create a more cohesive and engaging experience. So, what do you think? Who are you hoping to see in Star Wars Outlaws? Do you think the Cantina Band cameo could be the highlight of the game? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update on the latest gaming news. Thanks for tuning in to Joystick News. May the force be with you.